But today's video is going to be a shag wolf cut butterfly cut whatever we're still calling these for the new year so i'm just getting my mannequin all where you can see ready and she's literally i mean i've never had that this is a brand new mannequin i'm wondering how much hair is going to be left on her head what is wrong with this hey everyone welcome back to the channel thank you much for being here so today is it's going to be a haircut day but this mannequin you've seen from me brushing it out is losing hair dramatically and I need to color this for my live tomorrow anyway hopefully it doesn't shed any more hair so welcome back to the channel and we are in 2023 is this my first I think this is my first how-to of the year so I do apologize I've been super super busy being all over the place um, but I have been bringing you vlogs, so if you are watching this and you and you think, oh, I want to know a little bit more of what he does, uh, you can go check out my vlogs. I'll link the playlist above or in the in the description or somewhere like that. But today's video is going to be a shag wolf cut butterfly cut, whatever we're still calling these for the new year. This hair still coming out, um, and then I'm going to be colouring it to a a rose gold copper sort of colour. And we want to be, I want it to be contrast. I think contrast is going to be a big thing for 2022 when it comes to, 2023 when it comes to colour. Parting, what we're going to do and sectioning, we're just going to work through a middle parting just to get everything nice and balanced. So what I want to do is I just want to create a bit like a semicircle on the top here. So where it goes, where the head's flattened off, I want to just create a semicircle through here. And then again, semicircle round to here, and then just making sure that we are balanced. Looks nice and balanced to me. This is gonna be the fringe area. There's the semicircle from there, all the way around to there. We're just gonna bump that hair out of the way and secure. And then from where that where those points meet just there i'm just going to draw a circle all the way around the head right it's giving us a nice circle on top we'll jump onto the the heads to jot it down but just so you can see well, there we go. Through there and around and then back to there. So on the front here, we've used sort of, what would we say? Well, it's right on the edge, isn't it? Right on the edge of that recession point. So if we were to look here, it's just gonna come around to there. And there's our first section. And then when we come around, to there we've then just brought this around through here next section we're going to section off there and there so again come up oh through there sorry let's get rid of that it's the beauty of whiteboards there we go just gone magic there then go around there 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 and then on the back we've come round like that we'll just separate like that so that's the sectioning pattern really super simple and all we're going to do is just over direct all of this hair to create a shag wolf cut butterfly cut whatever we're calling them now i'll put the rest of the sections in which is just behind the ear let's just isolate that Through there so you can see there and then here just behind the ear through there and then when we come down the back we just want to be middle back let's get some bigger clips on these 
there and there. So that is the sectioning pattern so far. We're going to start on the fringe. So we'll just drop this fringe out and we'll get a middle parting or a middle guide. And where do we want to take it? She's crying. Looks like she's been crying. I want to take it to the nose. I want it to be really quite, quite heavy and quite long. So I'm just going to cut that there. Now, when we're looking at taking away weight and bulk, what we could do, let's just spin to the side so you can see, because I'm wearing black, you'll be able to see beautifully. We can either elevate right up there and get our guide and take all of that off, which will give us a much softer result, or we could pull straight out and we could be cutting up there and that leaves quite a heavy look. So if we go in the middle, but also we're looking at, we're going to be taking length. So we're going to be wanting to lose, we, we're going to want to use this, sorry, as our guide for this back section. So we don't want to go too short of it because or else it will end up really, really top heavy and we'll lose all our density down the bottom. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out sort of 90 degrees. I'm just going to take it off there. And it's just going to give us a little bit of a bevel layer. But when it comes to refining, that's where we can sort of start to manipulate weight through there. So let's section and pull this up. And all of this is just going to travel up to that middle section that we just took. So there I've just taken a piece. We're going to push into the middle. We're going to pull straight out. We're going to see our guide. I'll do this one from the front. I'll do the other side from the side so you can you can see. And again, we're going to push that section into that middle. So that hair's traveling all the way into there. Like that. And it gives you that lovely weight point to it and that lovely shape around the face. So we'll grab that again, our middle piece. Now we're going to grab our section. This is going to be pulled over to the middle, pulled straight out. We find our guide and we cut. And we grab the last section. We're pulling that over to that middle, through here, making sure we are in that middle. I'm going to cut like that. And that's going to give us that sort of concave shape around the face. It's going to give us a guide for this back section. But then when we're looking at sort of shaping it, it's going to be long, heavy, but that's what we want. I don't want to, I don't want the, the old wolf cut where it's like here and sitting really heavy sort of bangs on oh, this little bit sort of a little bit floaty this section or the, yeah this top section god this condition of this feels dreadful luckily we're cutting a lot off so what we want to do is we want to just take a center part again and split it. I'll just show you. So send the part straight through there. And then we're just going to, like we did on the fringe, take a section either side of that centre part. And this is going to be our guide that we're going to over direct into that middle for. So 
So I'll spin around so you can see to there. So this is our middle parting and piece either side of it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab that bit of fringe, the longest bit of fringe. And then we're going to find it, which is just there. You can see at my thumb, I'm just going to angle our fingers up like that. I'm going to cut from our guide on a bit of a diagonal line. And then what we're going to do, a little bit there, up to the ceiling, and then we'll grab or we'll take a piece of the, the next section through there. Sorry about this mannequin, it's just outrageously tangly. You can see the density change. The back, back part of this section that I'm taking is really dense and the front isn't. Right. Back to our guide. So the hair we've just taken So that section we've just taken from here is then going to be pulled up to that middle. So what that's going to give us is going to give us more length towards the perimeter. And we find our guide, which is just at my fingers. Make sure that hair is traveling to that middle. I'm going to cut up through there. I'm just gonna, if this is hair that needs coming off or if this is just hair that is just coming out of the head. I'm gonna take this last section. So really easy, like every section is like three sections on this top piece, this top circle. And again, making sure so making sure that hair is traveling from there up to there. We find our guide. Just get these little bits that are falling out. Make sure they're pulled over. And then we're cutting that. So I'll show you from here on this side. So that's all going to be falling over there beautifully. Going to grab that middle section again for our guide. And then again, you'll be able to see. We're pushing that hair over to our guide in the middle. See there? Find our guide. Again, push that over. So we're over directing and elevating and elevation creates softness so we already know this is going to be really nice and soft over there find our guide and done see that hair's traveling over there and that will fall down so look at it I'm covered. So now what we want to do, 
we want to get a piece of here. This is our top section that we just cut. We want to get our side section that we just dropped out here. We want to bring it straight up to the ceiling, straight up to that guide. So there's a tiny little bit of a, a diagonal angle on it. And then just connect that. And then what we'll do, we'll just bring it to the front. You'll see there's already some shape in there. I'm just going to tidy that up through there. So again on the other side, let's get this out of the way. We want to take a piece from that top circle that we put in. Which is here, get back that fringe, that piece of hair is there, you can see the, the, that'll be our guide. We're going to get this side, I'm just going to bring it right straight up, we're not over directing, we're just elevating to that, that last section that we put in. God this side is worse than the other side. We find our guide, which is there, and there's a slight diagonal on it. And while we've got it in our hand still, let's just pull it forward. So you can see here, and there's already shortness there, length there, and I'm just going to just neaten that up through there. And that's that done. Now with the back, very very similar with the back. So I'll just show you that shape starting to form really nice through that front. Now the back, exactly the same as we did with the sides. So we want to find a guide. So it's going to come straight through that back part of that horseshoe section, circle section we put on the top. Let's grab this side first because it's closer to you. I'm just going to clip out that side. I'm just going to take all of this section, if I can, because of how bad this mannequin is. If I could elevate all of this up to the ceiling, that is what I'd love to do. Through there and we can see the guide there. So let me just see if I can look closer. So the guide is right there straight across. So all we're going to do, make sure we're square and we've got an even tension through there and that's that done. And then we'll look at taking a little bit off that length. So this side again, bring you back to here. So our guide. Is there. Bring straight up to the ceiling we can already see the guide coming in to play there square it off to the head i don't know if these are bits to cut or if they're just the hair falling out that's the whole haircut done apart from obviously refining so what i'm going to do is let me get that clip I'm gonna get some product in, which is Dream Blowout and Blonde Life by Joyco. We're gonna get it blow dried. So, two and a bit pumps, and then with this, one pump of Blonde Life. 
brightening glow. Can be working this. I'm just going to wrap dry. And then we have it guys, that is the finished result. What do we think? So that is the, the contrast copper rose gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful color, if I do say so myself. Uh, and the wolf cut, butterfly cut, uh, shag hair cut has turned out lovely as well. And uh, if you wanna see any more sort of creative colors or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, hit subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video.